completely package. Um, and string and all wrapper classes implements comparable interface by default. Uh, and coming to comparator means no predefined classes implements comparator. This. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. How we can avoid con. Hello. Fine. Uh, good. So, how we can avoid concurrent modification exception? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, if you perform any modification while iterating hash map, uh, we will get runtime exception. This exception is called concurrent modification exception. Um, uh, how we can uh, uh, remove means? Mm -hmm. um, so suppose I am iterating a you know, list okay, or any collection. If I I am getting concurrent modification exception. Okay, so how I can avoid? So or what other collection? I should I use other collection or how? Uh, can... Like uh, as, uh, <clears throat> like uh, what we call uh, a set map. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like this it's for by using an uh, iterator dot remove method also we can uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what we call we can get a uh, concurrent modification next we can achieve the problem. Okay. Okay. So have you heard about copy and write array list? Copy on write. Ah uh, yes yes. Okay. So we can use that one. Okay. Uh, ah, yes. Copy and arrange. Yes. Okay. Fine. So, uh, so what is the difference between hash map and concurrent hash map? Yeah, hash map and concurrent hash map. Yes, hash map means uh, it hash map is non synchronized and not thread safe. Concurrent hash map is synchronized and thread safe by default. And uh, hash map means uh, it's a hash map performance is high and concurrent hash map performance is low. And hash map is uh, introduced in 1.2 version and concurrent hash map is introduced in 1.5. And yeah, in hash map, if you perform any modification while iterating hash map object, we will get runtime exception. That exception is called concurrent modification exception. Mm -hmm. If we perform any modification while iterating, uh, Concurrent hash map object, we won't get any exception. Hmm. Correct. Can we insert null key in hash map? Uh -huh. Null key in the hash map, or can we in, uh, enter the same null key in hash, concurrent hash map? Um, in hash map? Yes. Can we? Uh -huh. Yes, we can use it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, fine. What is the difference between has stack memory and heap memory? Uh, uh, stack and heap, yes. Stack memory and heap stack up to first. Yeah. Stack memory means it is used uh, uh, it is used only by one thread of execution and heap memory means it is used by all parts of our application and stack memory means cannot be accessed by other threads and heap memory means objects yeah objects stored in heap are globally accessible and stack memory follows uniform manner to free memory and heap memory means memory management is based on uh, generation associated to each object uh, and stack memory means uh, stack only contains local primitive and reference variable to objects in heap, heap space and heap, <coughs> heap means uh, heap memory means uh, mm -hmm. whenever an object is created it is always stored in the heap space only correct correct yeah. okay good fine okay How we can create a thread in multi-threading? How we can create a thread? Uh, sorry. How we can create a thread? Uh, how we can create a thread? Uh, there are uh, 
टू वेज टू थ्रेड बाय एक्सटेंडिंग थ्रेड नो 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 वेट 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 I'm getting it. Uh, um, um, how to create a, a, a by extending thread class and by implementing runnable interface. Um, mm-hmm. by extending thread. Hello. Ah, uh-huh, ha. Go ahead. yeah by extending thread class and by implementing runnable interface uh, by extending thread class is not recommended as there is no chance of extending another class uh, so we are missing the benefits of inheritance and by implementing runnable interface is the best approach as we can extend uh, some other class also hmm hmm okay correct correct what is the method inside this thread class sorry sorry what method is present in thread class uh, what method i think uh Hmm. Uh, wait, wait! I am getting it. I think present in thread class. Ante, um, what we call a uh, sleep, uh, yield. Hmm. Ah, uh, like this. Hmm. Sleep, hmm. yield, join. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sleep, yield, join, wait. Okay, okay, fine. What is the use of a two-string method? Object, two st- yeah, two-string. In object class. Any class, any class. we use two string use of two string in java ah uh, use of two string means uh, it's used to uh, what we call uh, getting it. just wait uh, it's used to represent the uh, string representation to of the object hmm to actually two string means uh, it returns a string representation of the object hmm okay how suppose if there in, there is a class employee it has employee it has a, a fields like employee name and employee id so what will be the outcome of if i write you know employee dot to string have you, um, you have you ever used to string okay no yes i have used it um, actually um, uh, uh, what we can uh, 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 we can um, what we can um compiler internally invokes the two string method of the object mm-hmm. so it will overwrite the two string method okay what is load factor sorry what is load, load factor yeah load yes factor. Uh, load factor means it is a measure that decides uh, when to increase the uh, a uh, hash map or hash table capacity to maintain the uh, get and put operations of complexity hmm so that means uh, we can increase the uh, default value of load factor is uh, 
zero point seven five. That means seventy five percent is of the map size. Hmm. Correct. 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 How we can create a immutable classes? Uh, by using, uh, by using a threat. Uh, by how to? How we can create a immutable class? Uh, how we can create immutable class means uh, we can define, uh, declare the classes final so the child classes cannot be created and declare data members in the class as private uh, to prevent direct access claims. So what benefit it provides? Uh, mainly um, so that we cannot uh, uh, create uh, so many uh, Mm -hmm. because we cannot perform any changes that means immutable class immutability means uh, once we created an object we cannot perform any changes so that's why uh, if we create an immutable uh, class we cannot uh, made any changes mm -hmm. yes. we cannot modify any changes so so what was the second rule which you said uh, declare data members is in the class as private to prevent direct taxes Hmm. Okay. Okay. Fine. In Spring, what are the scopes of a Spring Bean? Uh, yes. Uh, spring Bean scope, singleton scope, uh, prototype, request scope, uh, session scope, and global session scope. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is profile in Spring Boot? Yes, uh, Spring Boot profiles are used to map component and beans to specific profiles like Dev, SIT, UAT, and Prod. And Spring Boot, the annotation at the rate profile is used to map component and beans to certain profiles uh, like this thing. Mm -hmm. okay. In uh, an application to the properties, we can write uh, uh, spring profiles dot active is equal to uh, prod or environment whatever the environment is. How we can read the properties from property file? Reading a property. Sorry. How we can read the property file? Uh, uh, wait, wait. How to read? How to read property file? Sorry, can you repeat the question? How to read? Yeah, how to read the properties file in Spring Boot? Uh, by uh, uh, wait, wait. Uh, by using at the rate uh, value annotation, we can use. Okay. Three, fine. So what is your current project and what is your role and responsibility? Uh, yes, uh, in my current project means uh, it is a, a, in, uh, it's a Wayfair, in, it's a furniture, e-commerce based furniture uh, 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 site in that uh, there will be given, uh, my role is, uh, it's a support uh, related work. That means there will be given a ticket to me. Uh, that uh, ticket, I have to work on that uh, Jira ticket, whatever the ticket they have given to me. Um, is a, that means mainly I have uh, creating the REST APIs and implementing the uh, entity classes like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Fine. Uh, what are the benefit of microservices? Certain, uh, advantages of microservices, right? Right, right. right. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, microservices means mainly you can use it for uh, 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 self-contained and independent deployment module and less dependency and easy to test, uh, faster recycle and the cost of scale. Sorry, just sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. The cost of scaling is comparatively less than the monolithic architecture. Mm -hmm. 
ओके ओके व्हाट इज सर्किट ब्रेकर सॉरी 